Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a full face of e.l.f. Cosmetics Best Sellers. So I'm gonna walk you through this look featuring some of e.l.f.'s most popular makeup products. A lot of the products are actually things that I'm sure you guys have seen going around online, a lot of my current favorites, old favorites, and just really amazing products in general that are great quality, super affordable because it's e.l.f., so you know it's good. And I wanna thank e.l.f. Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. I'm so grateful to be working with them again today because you guys know how much I love e.l.f. It's my favorite drugstore brand, especially within the past couple of years. I've grown to just love e.l.f. more and more because their products are just so good. They've expanded so much, so much variety. You can do so many different looks with their products. They're great quality, super affordable, vegan, cruelty-free. I mean, you just really can't go wrong when it comes to e.l.f. and I always love working with them because I genuinely love the brand, love the products. So I'm going to walk you through this look, which is super easy, very smoky, but I'm excited for it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it. So before jumping into the makeup, I'm actually going to prep my my lips so naturally I have super dry lips so I usually like to exfoliate them once to twice a week and I love the elf brown sugar lip exfoliator this is so good it smells really good and it basically will give you new lips I love the fact that it comes in a lipstick tube it's super easy convenient it's not messy and you just apply it as if it was a regular lipstick and then I usually just take my finger just to rub all of that away and then I usually just take a paper towel and just wipe away all of that and then bam it's like you have fresh new soft lips and and then for lip balm, I have been really loving the e.l.f. Ride or Die lip balm. This one is the Mighty Mint one. They have different ones, but the Mighty Mint is my favorite. It's nice and thick and creamy, and it just feels really luxurious on the lips. The next bestseller is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. So this has hyaluronic acid and peptide complex in it. This is what it looks like. I've actually really been loving this moisturizer. I feel like this is just a really good, simple, everyday moisturizer. It's nice and hydrating, but it's super lightweight, great under makeup, or it could even be a good nighttime moisturizer, again, because it is is very hydrating on the skin. It's nice and creamy and it has almost like a whipped consistency. It's really nice. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this today because I feel like my skin needs a little boost. It's feeling a little dry these days. I already did like my morning skincare and everything, but that was like a few hours ago because it's like the afternoon right now. So I'm just gonna add a little extra moisturizer. It absorbs so quickly. Like you don't really have to spend a lot of time rubbing this in or like letting it sit or anything. Like it's just a good go-to moisturizer. Love that. So skin is prepped, lips are prepped. Now we can get into the makeup. So I'm gonna start with the brows first, of course. So I really love the Instant Lift Brow Pencil and this is actually what I'm gonna use today again because this is one of their best sellers. This is super affordable. It comes in different colors. It's great. It comes with a nice big spoolie. So the tip of this is a little bit bigger. So I feel like this brow pencil is really great for whenever you're on the go and you don't have a lot of time to do your brows. So for me, this is my five minute glam brow pencil. Whenever I wanna be a little bit more precise, I really love the ultra precise brow pencil from elf this one's great because it's smaller also comes with the spoolie but the tip is just a little bit skinnier and tinier as you can see so i feel like it's really good for when you want to mimic brow hairs or outline but today i'm going to use the instant lift brow pencil i'm going to outline my brows like i normally would and then i'm going to use a pomade because we have a little extra time to be glam it's nice because it's creamy and it just makes it really easy just to get in there and just fill in your brows so again if you're on the go this is a good brow pencil okay next up i'm going to go in with the elf liner and brow cream this one's in the shade espresso. I use this every single day. This is my favorite brow pomade. It doesn't dry out. It's nice and creamy and it gives me that full brow look, which I love because my brows are pretty sparse. I don't have a ton of hairs. And the eyebrow duo brush is one of my favorites, which I will link everything, of course, that I'm talking about down below and brushes and everything because I know it's a lot. So check the description box. Okay, brows are cleaned up and what I'm going to do now is actually move into the eyes. So I'm going to start off with primer. I'm going to use the eyelid primer. This one's just in the shade sheer. This is one of my favorites it's so good and I'm just gonna put this on all over it's nice because it like lightly cancels out any veins or discoloration that you may have on your lids so it just evens everything out makes your shadows pop makes them last Okay, today for eyeshadows, I'm so excited because I am obsessed with these bite sized eyeshadow palettes. I have been raving about these since these came out. I think it was like in March or April, but I've definitely talked about these in a favorites video. I've used them in many tutorials. They are one of my favorite formulas. So they just look like this. They're little quads and they come with like mattes and shimmers. You can create pretty much any look that you want with these. They have a bunch of different colors. So I'm gonna be using two today. I have cream and sugar up top and then berry bad on the bottom. I'm just gonna use one color in this palette and then two in the one up top. So I'm gonna start off with berry bad and I'm just going to be using the really light rose color in here as my neutral blending shade so I'm going to just pop that in the crease and I'm using the elf fluffy eye blender brush which is one of my favorite crease brushes it's big it's fluffy and it's just it's perfect for that all-around lid shade 
I'm just gonna pop that right in the crease. I'm being pretty light with this color. It's just gonna be like a light transition shade. I like it because it is really natural. So even if you're like doing a super simple look, like maybe just lashes and minimal eyeshadow, you can just run this color in the crease. And I feel like it's so pretty because it's like a blush tone color. And I've been so into blush in the crease. So I love colors like this. Next, I'm gonna go in with the chocolate brown in the cream and sugar palette. And I'm gonna really lightly, like I'm barely dipping my brush in just because I wanna do this gradually. I'm gonna start building up that brown and I'm gonna just apply that all over the lid. So I'm just really packing the color on with the e.l.f. and Jaykissa J1 brush. And then I just use a fluffy white haired brush just to kind of diffuse that color in there and just blend it out. Then I'm using a small crease brush and I will link all of the brushes and everything that I'm mentioning down below. This one is from e.l.f. And I'm just gonna run that right in the crease. It's a little bit smaller than the first brush that we used, so it's good for precision blending. nice and smoky nice and dark again it doesn't really have to be perfect because I'm gonna go in with the center shade anyways I just really want to pack on that color because I do want this to be pretty smoky and now we're gonna go in with the lid shade so I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm gonna actually use my finger just to pop that right in the center you can just see it is so pigmented just one swipe this always makes me nervous the key to this is just trying to make them look to look the same which is always my issue but let's just go with it I'm just gonna put it kind of right right in there. So I'm gonna start off with that. I know it's gonna look crazy and then I'll blend it out a little bit. So I just kinda wanna place the color down first. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of like diffuse that together and just kind of blend out the edges a little bit. So this is really cute. I love the way the halo looks. I think the center shade is beautiful, but I'm gonna just like amp this up a little bit. I'm gonna go in with some glitter just on the center just to make it pop a little bit more. And I'm using the liquid glitter shadow in the shade Pinky Swear. It's like the most beautiful wearable pink. I'm wearing a pink dress today, so I always like to kind of match my makeup and tie everything together with what I'm wearing. And this is the most perfect baby pink with a ton of glitter in it. Let me just show you. This color is perfection. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a really tiny little brush and I'm just basically going going to apply this from the back of my hand to the lid. I prefer to do that versus taking this and applying it directly. I feel like it just makes the product a little bit easier to work with, especially with me. Like whenever I do something different, like halo eyes or something, I like to take my time and be a little bit more precise. So I like to do it this way. And this is one of my favorite brushes to do this. It's the lip defining brush from e.l.f. And I know it's like for your lips technically, but I usually don't use my brushes for what they're for. I'll link this brush kit down below. It comes with a bunch of other ones. It's under like $15 and you get a bunch of brushes. It's so good. Kind of just adds a little extra sparkle. And it really just takes it there, like to the next level. So I'm pretty much all done with the eyes. I just added a quick coat of mascara and I am gonna do falsies. I'm not gonna use the faux mink lashes in Drama Queen, but they are my favorite lashes if you guys watch me. These are the ones that I go to for pretty much anything. They just look good with any smoky eye, any eye look, they're just the bomb. Love these, but today I'm actually gonna go in with the Style of Social Butterfly. I feel like these are really pretty with the halo look because they're tapered and flared. So I'm gonna add some lash glue. We're gonna set those aside and we're gonna jump into the skin. So I'm gonna start with a little primer water. I'm gonna use the Hydrating Coconut Mist. I really love this because it preps the skin nicely. I'm a firm believer in primer water, so for me, it's always a must. It has a light coconut scent, but it's not too overpowering, which I like. And then today for primer, I'm gonna use the Poreless Putty, of course. This is such a popular product. This is probably, I think, the most popular product in today's video. I love the Poreless Putty Primer. It's just like that go-to kind of classic primer for me that just works. It fills in my pores, makes my makeup last, smooths out my skin, it's great. So I like to do quite a bit of this because I feel like the more that I use, the better result I get. Okay, now I'm gonna pop on the lashes. 
Okay, lashes are on. Now for foundation, I'm actually gonna use a BB cream today. And I've used this before. I actually did a full day wear test with this BB cream a few months back. And I actually really like this, especially for every day or even for a glam look because it's not your typical BB cream. This actually has really great coverage. It's really natural. It's really dewy and pretty on the skin, but it still feels lightweight like a BB cream. It just has a little bit more coverage than your traditional BB cream. So I have two here. I have nude and beige, and I'm gonna mix these two. And then of course, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, which is my favorite. Look at that coverage. It's so pretty, so natural, but like still does a really good job at just like making everything look nice and even. So my skin's been doing pretty good, knock on wood. I haven't had any major breakouts, so I'm just gonna keep this like that, one layer, and I feel like I'm good for today. The concealer I'm using today is gonna be full coverage, so I like the combination of this BB cream with like a more full coverage concealer. It kind of just gives me the perfect mix. So I'm using my Hydrating Camo Concealer in Medium Peach. Clearly, I am obsessed with this concealer. It's great coverage, it's nice and hydrating, and I just cannot get enough of it. So, didn't get enough sleep last night, so we are going hard with the concealer today to make it look like we did get enough sleep. And I'm gonna blend this out under my eyes and then I will bring it down to the center points of my face as well. And then of course, I'm using my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush just to get in there and blend out those inner corners. So I love this little combo. Now we're gonna do a little cream, bronzer, and blush. I'm gonna use the Cream Contour Palette, which is one of my favorites. I pretty much mix all three of the bronzer colors. And then I just kind of start stippling in the product. I love this product because it's really easy to work with, melts into the skin. contour ever I pretty much just bronze my skin I just like the look of it I feel like you look very bronzed and sun-kissed and just glowy I'm obsessed and then for blush I'm gonna do a little concoction here I'm all about mixing products mixing colors I just feel like whenever you mix you can just create your perfect shade so I have the elf monochromatic multi sticks right here and I have two different colors bronze cherry which is this shade here and then I have glistening peach so I'm gonna mix both of these and I'll show you guys how I do it so these are both of the colors that I have glistening peach bronze cherry I just swiped them right on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna just mix both of those with my fingers to create my perfect shade and then I just take both of my fingers and just apply them directly to my cheeks so cream blush looks really intimidating like when you first swatch it but then once you apply it it's a lot less intimidating more wearable just be light-handed with it and with cream blush I like to use my fingers personally because I can really just kind of concentrate the product where I want it and I feel like it just looks the most seamless. And you just get a cute little flush on your cheeks. Like your crush just walked in and they said hi to you and now you're blushing and it's really cute. I love it. I also like to do some on the nose. Next up for powder, this is my favorite drugstore loose setting powder. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I also really like the matte one as well, but today I'm just feeling the glow. So this one's in the shade Light. This is actually a brand new one. This is my old one. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a little tiny bit left. It's really hard to get the product out because I'm basically all done. And I rarely finish like powders, especially. I feel like powders and setting sprays last forever on me. So when I go through a powder, it's a big deal. This powder is great because you get no white cast. It's super smooth. This powder is so pretty. It's really glowy. It's really natural. There's no glitter in it, but it just gives your skin just like this pretty radiant look to it. I love the way it looks. 
Okay, then to set the bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the contour palette, and this I've actually used for years, and I don't know why I stopped using it because it's such a cute palette. You know, sometimes you just forget about products because there's so much new makeup coming out, but I recently repurchased this again, and like this packaging, like the see-through is so sleek and beautiful. I love it. So I'm gonna be using this color mostly and a little bit of this one right here, and I'm basically just gonna go over where I did the cream bronzer. And I'm gonna use the pointed powder brush from e.l.f. I have all fresh brushes today when doing my makeup and there's nothing better. And then for blush, I'm so excited about these, the e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duos. These are so cute. So I'm currently really loving the shade Spiced Apple. Ugh, this, like if I was a blush, I would be this color because it's like that perfect, like just everyday peachy shade. So these are really cute. And I'm gonna use an e.l.f. stippling brush. And again, I'm just gonna set that cream blush so that it lasts longer. All right, love, love, love this color. It's so pretty. And they have a bunch of these as well. So for highlight, I do like the highlighter in here. It's a little too dark for me right now because I don't have a tan or anything, barely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix a little bit of this with the baked highlighter right here in Moonlight Pearls. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that glow. This is pretty too, cause it's like, it's intense, but it's still really smooth on the skin. It's not like chunky glitter. Let's set the brows really quick. I'm gonna go in with the Wow Brow Gel in the shade Black. This is my favorite tinted brow gel. It's great for keeping your brows in place all day. I like to refer to this as like Gorilla Glue for your brows because it's really just that. And I need to get a new one because I barely have any left because I literally use this like basically every single day. It's my favorite. The brush is perfect. The formula is nice too because like, it's gonna keep your brows in place all day, but you're not gonna have hairspray brows. Let's do the lips and then we'll finish up the lower lashes. So I'm actually gonna use another little mixture. I told you guys I love mixing my products. So I'm using the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Kit. So I have the shade Nude 02 and Nude 01 here. So I'm gonna start off with Nude 02, which is like a nude kind of beige shade. And then I'm gonna take Nude 01 and I'm gonna fill in the rest of my lips. These are so creamy, you guys. It's a wooden lip pencil, but it literally glides on the lips. I fill in my lips with just these very often because I feel like you don't even need a lipstick or anything over top. They are that good. So I love this color on its own. I don't really want to alter it too much, but I am going to add some gloss because I'm a gloss kind of girl and I love the lip plumping gloss. I was so happy to see this on their bestsellers because this is one of my favorite formulas and this one in the shade Peach Bellini is so good. It's like a light milky pink, but it's very wearable. It's not too pink. You see, it's so nice. So to finish up the eyes, I'm basically just gonna take that chocolate brown, run it on the lower lashes, add some mascara and a little liner, and we'll be all good. I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. and J. Kisset J1 brush that I was using earlier. And then for the inner corners, I'm just gonna take that same color that I used on my lid. And then for the waterline and also I'm gonna tight line, I'm gonna use the No Budge Retractable Liner in the shade Black. This is super creamy and it's very, very black. Last but not least, I'm gonna set my makeup and one of my all-time favorite glowy setting sprays is the Glow Dewy Mist. If you wanna just give your skin a little extra boost, this is perfect. And a little bit of this goes a long way, so you don't really need to drench your face to get that dewy effect. And it also smells like coconuts, which I'm obsessed with. It's very summery. It's amazing. So I'm gonna just spritz my face. And we're done. So that completes this look. This is a full face featuring Elf's best sellers. I love the way this turned out. The newest product for me was the Bite Size Face Duo, which I just started using recently, but I already love this. This is gonna be like my new go-to blush. Everything else I love, a lot of these products I have used for years, like before I started my YouTube channel, so they are amazing. And I know you guys will love them too, so I will link everything that I mentioned down below. That way you guys can shop and check out these bomb makeup products. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you once again to Elf Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!